if you're in a deal that's longer term and there's ups and downs in markets and you just ignore that and just cash flow your deal and get good returns, get, you know, 10, 11, 12% cash on cash, 15, 18% IRR, you know, over the life of the project, that that's a good, that's a good place to be. And then, but if you, if you get out early and you have this cash, now the investor gets out, let's say they sell and then the market starts to go down. So they hold on to the cash. The, the investor's in a very good spot. But what about the operator? The operator can't buy any deals, has no cash flow. What's he going to do? It's a very difficult time. So we have to have a focus on the operators, but we still need to take care of the home team. That how can the how can the operators be in business long term? How can they stay through these cycles? Well, if I sell everything, and sure I get some cash, but if you're not buying anything, if if your if your sole income is from buying and selling properties, if you're not buying, eventually you're going to run out of cash. That, that well is going to go dry. So that's why I like the idea. And there's nothing wrong with you know we may still do some short term. Uh, buy, fix, and sell. But th there's two scenarios that leave the operator either without opportunity or the investor is holding, a, is, is losing money on his investment and panicking and pushing that button, sell, 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 and then forces an operator to sell. You know, that'd be, that'd be a difficult scenario too. But if you have that longer term, and then you could have that conversation year seven, say, listen, the market's good to sell. If we sell, we can trade up into this other asset and still good market, or we can hold. 